We are now with a beautiful tour of a tour guide. It's not a, it's not my group. The second guy is Chilik, and he is the one who's uh, specialized in Samaria. And um, we are, I know a lot of places in Samaria, but he's taking us to places that usually tourists are not arriving, and I am a tourist here as well. <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry. To the left side, you can see the industry of Ariel, the biggest city in that region. And we are heading to a beautiful neighborhood, a beautiful like, village. It's called Kurkush, which is on top of the hill, but we are not heading there. We are going to look at the flowers. We are heading to the necropolis, the cemetery of Kurkush. Uh, don't worry, I know that Kurkush is a horrible name, uh, but you will see it um, at, uh, the, I think, the title of the video. If it's your first video, which happening a lot, then you must know that I do more than 20,000 videos on YouTube, mostly of uh, the Holy Land. And uh, I will be more than happy if you will subscribe my, to my channel, be part of my family. And yes, you can ask me whatever you want. It's a little bit windy now, then I hope that it won't affect the video. Look how beautiful it is. We are getting closer, but the view is amazing that enjoy the view will be quiet until we will reach um, the necropolis. What? I think we already reached that area. Ooh. Is it Marat Kvura? Is it Nahon? We were talking about it soon, but again, look how beautiful it is. Look how beautiful is the decoration, and this is the, the, the beauty of the uh, Kurkush. Uh, it's so beautiful, and this is, as I believe, not the, even the best one. The tour, as I mentioned before, is of tour guides. It's not a group. Uh, we are tour guides. We have no nothing to do. There's no, there are no tourists here. <gasps> Look at that! Gosh! Information, you will get it. You will get it. So first, let us enjoy it. Yeah, 
ויכוחים. It's a Jewish style from Second Temple time. Is it a Jewish place? So you can see the Muslims are not respecting those places. Then the village is above, and you can see quarry in a way, and um, what is this then? And tombs. Look how beautiful it is. Then whose tombs is it? Then it's a limestone, it's a quarry uh, of rich people, I must say. How the motums above? We have so many tombs like that, Jewish tombs from Second Temple time, and they are standing in, in the yard, the funeral yard. As half of the people are coming to say goodbye, the other half is taking care that he won't go out again. Then after the ceremony, they are entering and they are burying, burying the dead. You can see one sarcophagus in a minute. Let me show you. Right here, right there. You can see sarcophagus here, and another one there, and there, in it, as you already saw, you can see the niches. Oops. There were four, four columns, only two. <laughs> this, uh, those two that have been left. If you came with me to Misada, you could see something like that. This was in Antes. You 
actually this still about, and the capital of Doric, which is uh, totally Greek in a way. Same thing here. In the Kirjan Valley, you could find those kind of uh, tombs. Look a beautiful uh, decoration here with a flower and another two that didn't. The few uh, burial sites, but this is the most beautiful one. The only thing that is missing, except of the tombs at Smetel, are the rolling stone. See that? See the rolling stone started from here and cover the tomb. Is it a, is it a Jewish uh, tombs? Because we are very far from um, Jerusalem, and in, we are in the area of the Samaritans. Aha! Question mark. But. We know that the Samaritans had a different way of of uh, sarcophagus. Then it doesn't look like um, Samaritan ones. Then the answer is the tombs itself itself are totally Jewish tombs. The, the Christians, the um, Romans, the Greek weren't buried in those kind of tombs. The one who excavated it believed that it was a Jewish tomb. Well, there were Jewish tombs. But the question is, why here? Because there weren't a lot of Jews here, people here. Remember, it's Samaria. It's not. Um, it's not so close to Jerusalem. What's happening here? From the scripts of Josephus <coughs> Flavius, we know that King Herod gave uh, a place here at uh, northern Judea, which is actually Samaria, uh, some um, uh, areas to settle down. Is that a place? Is that belongs to them? It might be uh, true because Herod gave that, uh, those places, those yards, those land to the richest uh, friends of his. And we are talking about a very rich uh, Jewish burial site. Are we talking about them? <coughs> Sorry, the Talmud actually tells us that that place was uh, a Jewish place. It's called the... Um, King's Mount, and uh, after the um, Second Revolt, Bar Kocha Revolt in the second century, uh, it became to be a Samaritan area. Now, they are not talking about that particular place, but they are, about, they are saying that if you, you, if you are buying here from the Samaritan uh, fruit and vegetables, you have to pay tax because it used to be a Jewish land. In that case, is that the King's Mount, and now you can actually see the tombs as Jewish tombs, but later on became to be the area of Samaria. And this is, this is important because uh, uh, 
until the second century, that was in a way Samaria, Israel, Judea. But after the revolt of Bakofa, second century, Adrian changed the name of that land to Palestine. And this is the punishment of the Israelis because now everyone that actually talks about Palestine thinks about the Arabs. But that was true only from 1948. Until then, that was a Jewish area. I mean, another word to Palestine is Israel. My mother was a Palestinian woman, a Jewish one. She was born in Palestine, Israel, in 1936. If you watch my previous videos about the tension between the Samaritans and the Christians, it's here the same idea. King Herod brought here Jewish people because that was the border between the Jewish land, that way is to uh, Jerusalem, and from here to the Christian, uh, to the Samaritan, Samaritan uh, place. The, the same idea, uh, the same idea. The king wanted to stop the Samaritan from entering, for occupying uh, Israel. Same story until today. Not about the Samaritan, but you know, Israel, Palestine, whatever. Same idea. Sadly, we didn't find any Jewish symbols like a menorah, um, <clears throat> like inscription in Hebrew, and um, there's a lot of enigmas in those uh, places where because there's no any uh, evidence, textual evidence of that place, Kurkus. Um, might be um, an Arabic word for the oak trees. And there are some oak trees, uh, not here, but above at the at ruin, which is on top of the hill. But again, we don't know the reason for that name. It's not so important, but the idea is important. I mean, it's such a beautiful... I mean, I saw a lot of... Um, Jewish tombs. Some of them are very beautiful, but I must say that I'm so surprised to see it here. And as Chilik said, there are more tombs like that in different places in Samaria. The Mishnah told us about 13 villages that used to be Jewish villages and they were taken by the Samaritans. What can I tell you? It's such beautiful part of history which are, I don't have a lot of um, knowledge because we don't have a lot of um, Samaritan inscriptions about it because what we know is from the Mishnah the Talmud which is the Jewish thing what we know about the Christians against the Samaritan are Christian inscription and you know everyone re um, write their history in his way but the Samaritan didn't Right, or at least we didn't find anything from that time. We do have some um, um, inscriptions from 11th, 12th century, but this is this is not from this time. And, uh, and this, this is uh, this is sad. But look how beautiful it is, guys. Um, if you want to support me because I'm not working, you can support me by uh, subscribing. To my channel be part of my friend send the link of my youtube channel to your friends and ask him to subscribe or look at down there you can see the shape of the heart it's called super thanks you can actually thank me for that because this is the only income and at the inscription you will find the two links of of um of uh, paypal and buy me a coffee and you can do that too as well Thank you very much for being with me in this beautiful day. Bye bye. Wow, that's I didn't see. Look how beautiful it is. Look like water system of quarries right here. And look at that. Then I will add it to the video. <laughs> then uh, it's not actually the end of the video. I will show it to you because the group already went back to the bus whoa this is beautiful 
bore tombs, quarries. And wow, this is beautiful. Then I, I will add it to the video. Bye bye.